So where I am now is sitting with a synopsis and notes and writing scene by scene. And I'm also, this is a new thing I'm doing. Even as I'm writing, I'm writing in where I hear music, writing in the names of sound cues. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, what am I doing? I'm working on the design. I mean, I'm you know, putting everything to scale. I already have the model of the theater built uh, in a scale, and I'm uh, thinking about the scale of the thread that we want to use. There is one appearance of the mystic that I want to come into red thread, so that's something I'm working on right now. We have really cool red thread from the model that Eliza, our executive director, Eliza and I found in the design district in a home store, like tile and shower curtains. They had these curtains made of threads and they had the perfect red color, so we ordered a sample and it's perfect scale right. for the model. Right. It's a curtain and that's, that's going to be the show curtain. The show curtain is going to be made of red threads. This is a Chinese, what is it, a myth? It's a proverb, <laughs> belief, what do you call it? I don't know. I mean, it, I think it's a mixture between a belief and a tradition. Right. So the, the other thing we're doing in our process is, since we can't go to China, we're watching a lot of Chinese movies and reading lots of Chinese fairy tales. I've been reading a lot of Chinese fairy tales for kids. And we, there have been different Chinese cultural performances here in Miami and in Broward County. So we've been doing our own little cultural tours and projects in this area. And then um, I'm listening to music. And even as I write, I'm listening to Chinese music. And I'll send, make notes and send tracks to Fernando and to our composer, Luciano Stazone. So he's already getting some food. And then our choreographer, I'll send them excerpts of the script and send them music. 